Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Today, as you see, our topic is about politics, but in the same time, we will use politics to understand the nature of the human being and how a human being function, especially if a human being is low in ethic. <clears throat> we notice always that when it's come to part, like politics and protection, we notice that most of them if not maybe 99%, they are suffering from a very low ethic. And uh, to understand why, you know, why really they are suffering from low uh, ethic, we need to understand what they are fighting for. Uh, yesterday, Trump, he made an announcement that he will be running for president in 2024. But I found in his message something very important, which is telling us the whole story. Why they really run for office. Why they are fighting for it, all of them. What is the gain? You know, when you are in politics, I mean, anyone have the right to speak against you, to even speak about your personal life, just because you're a politician. If you do it against normal citizen, you cannot do that. He can sue you. He can take you to court. Even he can make you really go pay big time or maybe even go to jail. But the second you became a politician, you became an open or like the same as a rag. Everybody can step on you, especially in countries supposedly are democratic. But yesterday, Trump, he said something very important. Explain to us really why they are voting for and what they are voting for. Listen carefully. Swamp, I will push for a constitutional amendment to impose term limits on members of Congress. It's time. It's time. <laughs> and I will ask for a permanent ban on taxpayer funding of campaigns a lifetime ban on lobbying by former members of Congress and cabinet members. If you do not know what the lobbying is, like now I want to go for politics and I can ask a bunch of businessmen, big companies, rich people, to lobby for me, which means they gang, they gather a lot of money, and they support me in what is called donation, and this donation, I can use it as I wish for the purpose of the election. And you know, the purpose of election can cover anything. My hotels, my trips, my flights, my uh, gift, my, 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 my. But in the same time, it's kind of a bribe. Where the rich ones, they when they lobby for uh, a person going for election, they are paying him now, so later he can pay back. Nobody give money for free. This is not a charity. Those are not a bunch of Christians, or you know people that they are donating for a, a, a you know cancer center for childrens, a church. No, they don't give money for people who will win election. I'm not talking about normal citizen. I'm talking about the big, big, big corporations. So when they do the lobby, simply the lobbying is that we gather all the rich people. If you are a rich man, you will receive a letter from Trump. If you support usually Democrat, oh, sorry, Republican. If you are a rich man, uh, you will receive a letter from the president himself, from Biden. Just because you are rich, because they need you. If you are poor, nobody will call you. And listen, the day of election, say, hey, vote for this guy. But the lobby is made for a reason, is to make them rich. So this is number one source of money. And now Trump is saying, I will do those things. But the question is, <laughs> where have you been for four years? Why you did not do those things he is counting? Simply because he was stupid. Literally. He was literally stupid. You know, the Democrats, they were able to be, to keep him busy suing him, accusing him, Russian phone calls, he spoke to Putin, he have a friend, her name is Olga in Russia, and he is a spy for the Russian, and he is an agent for the Chinese, and you know, so they demonize the guy, and the guy now, he is busy, 
because he's in the corner. So they were able to fool him, really, and hold his hands from doing anything. And this is the whole plan. We will keep him busy throwing rocks at him so he will not demolish us. So the foolish Trump, in four years of foolishness, he was busy. He did not get it. That what they are doing is just because they are terrified. He would demolish them. So Trump, after he left, now he noticed the mistakes he did. And now he noticed that this is what she should be done from the beginning. But now, now you remember? When Obama became a president, the first thing he did, he replaced all the Republican generals in the army. All of them. Anyone as Republican, they sent him for retirement. And they replaced the whole team with Democratic, so the army controlled by, the army, by the way, in case you do not know, 99% of the active force, they are Republican. But the generals are Democrat. Isn't it? This is weird. This is what Obama did, and this is what Biden did, and Trump, because he's a foolish man, he did not even hire one, just one. So the army is always under the control of the Democrat. Now let us continue. Trump is going to tell us more what if what he do, which is telling us really what the story, what is behind what's happening. I see what they make. They leave the White House or they leave Congress and they're paid millions and millions and millions of dollars a year. No, you have to have a ban. We want a ban on members of Congress getting rich by trading stocks with insider information. <laughs> this is a different story. You see, Nancy Pelosi, as an example, she is the leader of the Congress, uh, the Speaker of the Majority. And she never lost a penny in the stock market. Any stock she buy, it multiplied like a hundred times. Now we know how it works. Because the Congress, they receive information. They force companies to provide information about the next step. So they knew which stock would go up, which stock is going to go down, which company is going to go bankrupt, way advanced before other people. So now we knew why they are so desperate to stay in the office. When they asked Nancy Pelosi, how come you never lost in the stock market? <laughs> how come? I mean, have you ever heard of somebody investing in the stock market? He never did wrong, one wrong investment. And this is the same for all of them, by the way, not only Democrat, Republican too. Because both of them, they are in the same business. And if I know what stock is going to be going up tomorrow, you know, it's like imagine you know which which number in the lotto is going to win. Everybody will buy it. So they are desperate to be in the office, not to serve you. They are desperate to be in the office so they can get filthy, filthy rich. You know. Can somebody tell me how Obama, he was able to buy his mansions? Where is the money is coming from for Hillary Clinton and her husband? People who spend their life working in the office, where is the money coming from? How much salary is the officer, you know, a person who work in the, what is the salary of a president in USA? Where is the money coming from? This is where the money coming from. They receive gifts as a stocks. How they receive them? They, they buy them for very, like legally we bought them. But in reality, we bought nothing. Those who work in politics, they are criminals. And the poor people, they fight for them. Thinking they are fighting for heroes. And now Trump... He decided to be smart. Now he decide that this is why they are there. I'm going to ban them from being congressmen many times. Senators many times. I mean, we have senators, they are there for 40, 60 years. 
I mean, how long Nancy Pelosi is in the office? Isn't it time for her to go to the museum? They never leave. You see, in the appearance, we have democratic country, but in reality, those people, they control their places. They, will never, they never lose. So they control the party, the gang, you know, a gang, gang of Democrat or gang of Democrat, Republican, doesn't matter. It's a gang. They control the party and the party control the crowd and the crowd is like a bunch of goats. Nobody asks himself, why this guy is a senator for the last 40 years? Why there's nobody in this country deserve to be a senator? That's it. I mean, isn't it enough to be a senator for four, one term, two terms, that's it? I mean, what? And then we have a president, George Bush, the father, George Bush, the son, George Bush, the cousin, George Bush, the nephew, tomorrow, Obama, the, the, the husband, Obama, the wife, Obama, the daughter. It's a business. This guy, Joe Biden, he was a like vice president. He was, I mean, so he spent all his life, all his life in office. And what did he do exactly? This guy don't even remember his name. And they speak, all of them, about how to help the poor, but every one single one of them, he live in a mansion, including Trump. But at least Trump is a businessman. He is not making his money from the job he just got. The rest they do. So now we are going to fix it. Don't you think you are coming late, Trump? And now, if you say you are going to win the election in 2024, like <laughs> I assure you he will forget what he said today. Because he said the same before he got elected last time. He will dry the swamp. Did he? He did not. He promised to investigate Hillary Clinton and all the bribes she took. Did he? He did not. Because he was an idiot. He thought if he let them go, they will let it go. But they were digging for him and they did not let him sleep until the last day. Continue, Trump. Let us see more. Somebody is saying he could not. No, the first two years, the Republican, they were in control of the House and the Senate, and they have the White House. Don't tell me he could not. But I will tell you what Trump he was doing in the first two years. Actually, in the whole four years, he was a president for Israel. Until the last day of his presidency, he was just serving Israel. I mean, the guys are kicking him out. He will lose the election. They are digging for him. And what he is doing is just to worry how I can fix things for Israel. He was not the president of USA when it's come to abroad politics. He was a president of Israel. And the second he, you know, he lost the election, a week after Netanyahu, he gave him a finger. He called Biden. He says, congratulations. And this is why I called my videos in the thumb, the puppies, you know, and Netanyahu is one of the puppies. All his friends betray him. The Arab, the Jews, uh, everybody, everybody. He have no friends. I feel sorry for this guy. He never chose his friends wisely. Never. Even Fox News, who praise him every day, when the election come in less than 24 hours, they stab him in his back. Actually, even Fox News yesterday, they did not even broadcast his speech. Anyone notice that? Did you notice? Fox News yesterday, they did not broadcast his, in, his speech. They broadcast not less than 10 seconds. He will announce he will be a, he is running for president. That's it. And you know, in those news agencies, it's not like things does not happen this way unless it is a preset, pre, it's a predestination, let us say. 
They don't want to play his voice. They don't want to play his speech. Fox News decided to be the enemy of Trump. They, they consider him a burned card. A burned card. This kind of equality of people, I call them dogs. Even they are a human. When he is a president, everybody is kissing his ass. When he is out, everybody spit at him. And now, because the election or the result, they blame him. I mean, we, they, they blame this guy for everything. If somebody could not have orgasm in the bedroom, he would blame Trump, especially if he's a Democrat. If somebody lost his job, he would blame Trump, but the president is Biden. If the food became expensive, they blame Trump, but the guy in control is the Democrat. If the, anything happened, they blame Trump. No, my friend, they did not play the whole speech. Go and go watch it in Fox News. They play only a few seconds, and then Sean Hannity start talking and etc. They did not play. Go, go right now to Fox News. You will see they did not play his speech. They have Sean Hannity, and they start making conversation about what he said, and they did not play his full speech. They play only a little tiny part of it. Uh, so now Trump, he is promising he will do things. But all of us, we knew that those things he will not be able to do, even if he, even if he could. He will not be able to do it. There's a big gang against him, including his own party. You know the you know if you, if you see how many enemies he have inside his party, you will be surprised. And the reason that they are his enemy, not because he's bad, but because they are jealous. Everybody want to take his uh, piece of the cake. Like okay, you became president. It's time. It's my. It's me now. You know I want to be a president too. So this guy is, uh, you know, is fighting everybody, and in the same time he have no friends. This is why I feel sorry for him. You know, I see many comments like saying, "As Trump is an actor, businessman from Hollywood, uh, nothing else." Well, this is very funny because if he's an actor, he should say and talk like an actor, which means he should be politically correct. And all of us we knew that the last one is politically correct is Trump. So where do you come with this from? That he's an actor from Hollywood, nothing else. Have you ever heard of somebody, an actor from Hollywood? He don't say what Hollywood like to hear. So your statement is funny, is dummy, is not a true. Because this guy, he throw it as it is. He is being honest. Actually, this is one of his biggest problems, that he is not doing politics. Like I remember once that the Democrat, uh, I don't know which, uh, I think CNN, they asked him, do you suggest a punishment for a woman do, uh, for the one do abortion? Trump, he said, yes. The journalist, he said, for a woman? What, what the heck? So who is the one who will do abortion? A man? <laughs> so they want to demonize him that the guy, he hates women. Look, he want to punish women. What if a man, he forced a woman to do abortion? Isn't he going to be punished? Oh, yeah. But they want only the women to be in the answer. Are you going to punish women? And then they start putting this ad everywhere. We ask him, do you suggest to punish women who do abortion? He said yes. But the one who do abortion is not men, you idiot. Have you ever heard of a man delivering a child? No, we are not taking calls for now. Uh, so the plan is to demonize the man and because he is not an actor, because he says things as it is, they use it against him. Let us see what he will say more. And 
many of our great members agree with that. They actually agree with that. And of course, we will do whatever it takes to bring back honesty, confidence, and trust in our elections. And here you notice that Democrat, they win only by mail. And this is telling you that the, the election is not honest. You see, have you ever heard of a party win only by mail? Where is the voters? Are you getting my point? So Trump was winning, winning, winning by who? By those who went with their ID. And then boxes start coming from who? We don't know. It is boxes coming by mail. This is exactly what they do in the Middle East. And this is what happened until now. And this is why the Democrats, they are against voting using your ID. They don't want anyone to use ID so they can cheat. Ask yourself a very simple question. What and for what benefit they don't want people to use ID for election? Just ask yourself if you are Democrat or Republican, doesn't matter. Why and who is the one who will have the benefit that we do not know who is voting? Why they don't want people to go to the center and vote and they have their ID? We look at their ID, we look at their face. Okay, go ahead, sir, vote. How that can be against democracy? Simply because this is the only way they can win an election. And this is what happened now. Everybody is upset from the inflation. Everybody upset from the prices. Everybody upset from the money value. Upset from the housing, the gas prices, everything. How in the world those people, they were able to win in many places? It doesn't make sense. They won only by mail. They cheat. And everybody know it. You will notice, if you watch any election, that when the numbers start coming, the first number is going to be for the one who voted by ID in person. Then they start counting the ones came by mail. In the beginning, you will see that the one is winning is Republican. Republican, 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 and boom. Then the first box came by mail, Democrat. The second box, Democrat. The third box, Democrat. All the boxes are Democrat. Somebody saying the volume of Trump voice is very low. I'm friend, this is from his video, not my side. This is why I believe strongly that they do cheat miserably with no shame. And you know, the funny is that if you deny the election, they say to you and they call you a name, they call you election denier. Like it's like a crime. But if you go, you will find that number one people who deny the election in America, it was Democrat. And this is an example. Al Gore, Hillary Clinton, Billy Clinton, uh, uh, Joe Biden, uh, uh, you know, all over. Look, at uh, those are cases one by one. Clinton, he said, or she said, the only way Republican could win election was to stop the voting in Florida. They denied the election. Former President Jimmy Carter, he said, has repeatedly denied the result of 2000 election. Carter in 2005 says, there is no doubt in my mind that Al Gore was elected the president. <laughs> If you say it and you are a Republican, you are doomed. You are evil, you are sick, you are disgusting. But if they say it, it's okay. Carter in 2014, I don't think that George Bush won the election in 2000. And here you see all the names, all the names denying the election, one after one. And when Trump, he won the election, what happened? They start burning cars, stores, stealing, attacking like uh, stores like iPhone stores, stealing the iPhones. I mean, what does this have to do with election? Because their gang is all over the place. And none of the Democrats consider that violence a terrorism. So the truth is, 
that they are liars, hypocrite, and they are not Democratic Party. And if you deny the election, you are the devil. But if they deny the election, they are the saint. All those examples of Democrats denying election. Look at the list. And actually, we have videos of them. There's tons of videos in YouTube about those people denying the election result. But the second you deny the election result, you are the devil, as long as they are the winners. And here we want to go and see what happened in this election before we continue with Trump. You know, many they think that, you know, Republican, they lost. In fact, they did not. What happened is they did not win as they expected, but they did not lose anything. I know many of you watch CNN. Just go to Google right now and type election result update. Right now, not old. You will see that in the elections, like Senator update, the Democrat, they have 48. Republican, they have 49. And soon we will have the result coming from Alaska. And not only that, soon after we will have the election in Georgia. So if the guy from the Republican, he won in Georgia, the Democrat is bye-bye in the Senate. Yet now they claim that they have the majority. But as you see, this is Google, and this is coming from a, a, Associated Press. According, here we go, Senate as a result. According to Associated Press, 34 of 30, 35 seat up election code. Those are code result. 48 for Democrat. 49 for Republican, the rest is not called yet, but yet they claim they won. Now if we go and see the House, already we have the majority. We are 218, so we won. And there's more seats is coming from California. You see, if you go here, you see those areas here, the one in pink, those are like they are going to be Republican, but they are not called yet. So in here, you will see like in California, there is more seats to come. So not only we won the election and we have the majority now, we are going to have a very comfortable majority to break the bones of Biden. Somebody saying Alaska is counted. Uh, Alaska is counted. Uh, but I don't know, like, why, why they are making it in pink yet? I don't think it's counted, you see? It is still in pink. If it's counted, they will not make it pink. And here in the, in the map, it shows you that the one in pink, there's a lead. The one, like, a light blue, there's a lead. Lead for Democrat or lead for Republican. Let me zoom in so you can see with me. See it? So if it's red, it's mean they won already, it's cold. If it's totally blue, it's mean the Democrat, they won already, it's cold. If it's light blue, there is a lead, it's not cold yet. If it is light pink, it's mean Republican, they might win. And if it's like a gray, like in Georgia, this is mean there is runoff, which means they will redo the election. Yeah, I don't know what you are saying. But anyway, uh, this is what they are saying. Anyway, so until now, we have 40, uh, 49, 48 for them. And let us say they have 49 like us. But the election in Georgia is not over yet. So if the Republican, they won the election in Georgia, then the story is became so, so difficult. And already, as you see, I'm so glad now, that now already we have confirmed, this is now, like I, two hours ago I checked actually, the house was only 217, but now it is 218. So now already we have the majority in the house, and if we have the three other uh, or four, uh, uh, like uh, 
uh, from like California, as an example, California, the 22 dis uh, dis uh, like, uh, uh, district, David Vallado, I don't know who is this guy, 52% reporting 64%, which means most likely he is going to win. Uh, this is here. Uh, those are already the one. Yeah. So in California, we have one. We have how many? Let us see. Anyway, we, we uh, that's it. I mean, uh, 200, 218 is the majority. And now we will not see Nancy Pelosi ever again to be the major speaker of the House. Thank God, at least. All right. Uh, so I believe the reason the bad things happen is the same what happened to the Democrat in 2016. You know, in 2016, everybody was laughing at Trump that he will lose. Anyone remember? Actually, me myself, I remember. I I, I was I, I was live, and then I decided to go. No, actually, I was live. No, I I, don't, I, I was watching TV. And I decide to go sleep. That's it. I don't want to see. I mean, I know he will lose. That's it. You know, I even though some of you he say, say no, he will win, but I could not believe it. He will win because all the media was saying he will lose. He is a loser. Nobody will support him. Blah 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 blah. And then the surprise start coming at ten o'clock. Refresh the page. I just refresh the page. Okay, let me do it again. Still the same. It says 48 Democrat, 49 Republican. The same. Yeah, nothing changed. Yeah. A anyway, controlling the House is enough to break the bones of Biden. Now he cannot play as he wish. Now we can stop him and we can play different rules. So the honeymoon of Joe Biden of two years controlling the House and the Senate is over. Somebody saying, Trump, we will protect Christianity. We do not need Trump to protect Christianity. Christianity is protected by Jesus, not by anyone. Christianity is not, we do not need government to protect it. We are the Christian. We will die for our faith. And uh, they can dream. You know, the Roman, they used to feed the Christians to, to animals, to dogs to lions, to tigers, and Christianity flourish, not the opposite. So good luck with demolishing Christianity. We do not need protection for Christianity. You are mistaken. Uh, but what I'm trying to say to you, that Republicans, they are a bunch of stupid, but I'm talking about those who work in politics. politics. How many Republican presidents we have? How come they never fix the election? How come they did notice that voting by mail is not right? How come they did not notice that people vote without ID? How, how you know who's voting? I mean, it's a very simple way everywhere in the world. How this is, can be against democracy? If the Democrat they want, good for them. But bring an ID. All what we are asking for, we are not saying we don't want, we want only Republican to vote, no. Every citizen, well, that's what they are doing. They are bringing somebody, he is an immigrant. He don't even have a green card. He go inside the center, he say, I don't have a ID. Okay, what's your name, sir? They take his name, any name, just give any name. They give him a paper, they scan it. Only few states, they are forcing ID. And because the, the, the governor is a smart person, even states who have a Republican government or governor, they never force an ID. And those governors, they are there maybe for 10 years. So what they were doing, it is just a job to collect money. It is that just a job for them. They don't care, really. And Trump now, he is promising that he is going to fix it. But he could not fix it when he was a president. Fixing it in a speech will not make any sense. 
He could not fix one thing about the election. He was busy being a fool. He was busy working for Qatar, for the interest of the Gulf, of the oil countries. He was busy making peace between Qatar and Saudi Arabia. Five days before his last day in the White House, he forced Saudi Arabia to shake hands with Qatar. I mean, the country here is upside down. People, they are going to jail because of June 6, and is still the idiot. He is just busy with Qatar because he worship money. Trump is a money worshiper. He is not different from them. I don't take the side of Trump. I take the side of some stuff Trump he stands for, at least as a politician. Maybe even he don't mean it. Freedom of speech. The Democrats, they are censoring people. Anyone who don't speak as they like, they are acting like terrorists in the Middle East. I left the Middle East so I can speak freely. I did not come to a country to eat hummus or to eat steak. We have a steak there. I came here because we can speak freely and we can live free. This is what they call America, the land of the free. But Democrats, they are trying to make it the land of the dead. They want everybody to be zombie. Everybody vote as they want, speak as they want, talk as they want. And if you don't do as they want, they will demonize you and even they will take you to jail. Somebody saying, stick into Islam, you are not a prince on politics. My friend, I say stick in your bedroom and don't come to my chat. This is my page and you are stupid. You don't come to my house and tell me what to say in my house, you donkey. If you don't like me speaking about politics, then don't come here. Did you see the title? Do you see the title or not? So why you enter? Because you are a donkey. The title in the man you say is, we serve in pork. And then you go inside the restaurant and say, I don't eat pork. That's mean you are a donkey. And not only a donkey, you are a certified one. Which means you are from a big family of donkeys. So Trump, now he claimed he is going to fix it, but he could not fix anything when he was a president. And you can give him all the excuses you want. But the result is more important. However, we have to say that when Trump was in the office, people, they come buy houses easy. The interest was almost, actually it was zero. Any citizen in this country can buy a house. For that reason alone, every American should vote for him. Now, who can buy a house? 7% interest. How much, how much? 7%. What does that mean? It's mean your salary not enough even to pay for the interest alone. Not for the mortgage. And not only that, it's enough to remember that now the prices of anything is a three or four time more from the time Trump he was in the office. It's enough to know and to remember that gas price was so cheap that you can drive anywhere you want. It's enough to know that when he was a president, nobody dared to play. Trump, he did not attack Ukraine for four years during Trump being president, not even a single day. The second Trump he left, they knew that they have a bunch of idiots in the White House. A woman, she take a drug, drugs and she is proud about it. Her name is Camilla Harris and she kept laughing. Ha 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 ha. And a guy who don't remember his name and if he is a boy or a man, he introduced himself as Joe Biden's husband. 
So Putin, he was so happy and so excited. And not only that, the one who paid for the war in Ukraine, it was Joe Biden. He is the one in the first few days in the White House, he stopped the oil coming to USA or the pipeline between USA and Canada. And he opened the pipeline between Russia and Germany. If you ask yourself why Joe Biden, he did that. I mean, Russia took Crimea from Ukraine. Are you rewarding them? Exactly. He rewarded them. And not only that, he made them earn trillions of dollars so they can sponsor their war. Have you ever heard of a stupid donkey like Joe Biden? He put sanctions in American oil company and he left all sanctions in the enemies. What kind of a president he do that? Trump, he put sanctions. Nobody put sanctions on Russia as a Trump he did. And then he accused him that he was working for Russia. Can you believe it? So I speak negative about Trump, but in the same time, I'm being fair, you see, because we don't take a side. We say things as it is, not like some people who support Trump blindly. When Trump is a fool, I say he's a fool. When he says he's smart, I say he's smart. As an example, when he put sanctions on Iran, that was very smart. The first thing Biden, he came, he started doing what? He started negotiating how to lift the sanctions on Iran. Why do you want to do that? I mean, those people, they are killing civilian left and right. Anyone who strike against them, they put him, send him to hell. They rape women. Why you want to deal with them? Why you want to lift sanctions on them? Why? Those Democrats, they claim that they support the women's right. Is that how you support women's right? You give the regime which is killing women. giving them money, lifting sanctions on them. So in one hand, they claim that Trump is against women's rights. Why? Because he said the women should do abortion, should be punished. And the funny is, for sure, it's a women who do abortion men. <coughs> but in the other hand, they want to give Iran, the enemy of USA, the one who shout every day, death to America, death to Israel. Every day, the first thing when they go in the school, they force children before they enter the classroom, the classroom to shout, death to America, death to Israel. <laughs> Democrat are the most stupid party ever. I never, I never saw, I never heard of a stupidity can be the Democratic Party. They want to go green, but they buy more oil. How we go green? By buying more oil? I mean, you see, the, the, the intelligence is, the, those people, they have, uh, they have a very weird intelligence. We are going to go green. We don't want, we want to stop the burning of carbon. How we do what do how, how we do it? We buy more oil from Saudi Arabia. You stupid, isn't it the same if you buy it from here or there? If I buy oil from Saudi Arabia or buy it from USA, isn't it at the end of the day is going to be burned? My friend Trump, he do not need to ban abortion. The Supreme Court banned it already. President, he cannot ban such a thing. He can make a, like an order, but this is, will not be a law. However, those things can change. You know, you can change the judges, a human being. I mean, they, they, the poopoo is all over the place. Like you can make a law and then the federal judge, he can block it. Here we go. Now he isn't the president. 
a federal judge he brought he 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 blocked his uh, order in 2000 uh, i think 18 usa usa system is very stupid a president is not strong enough to the point that a federal judge in a court of nobody heard of he can block the order of the president in the whole country very stupid system and this is why the system will never function anywhere He cannot change anything, and nobody can change anything because the gang is bigger than him, the mafia is so big, and those all those who work in politics, they are desperate to work there for a reason. All of them, they want money. Nobody want to serve the country. Maybe out of maybe, I don't know, maybe in the whole of this Congress, maybe there's five, six, they are poor. They are decent the rest they are rich and you need to ask yourself how they get rich he said he want to stop access to stock market so those who they are in the congress or senators they cannot invest can he do that who's going to vote for this nobody <laughs> imagine he's asking the congress the same congress he is going to ban that let us vote that if you are a congressman, you cannot invest in the stock market. Do you expect them really to accept? <laughs> to eliminate cheating, I will immediately demand voter ID, same day voting, and only paper ballots. He will demand only same day ID. But you cannot do that because you see you have a stupid system. You see those things can happen if we have a dictatorship. This is why sometimes dictator is better than democracy. Sometimes, not always. At least somebody can fix the whole country in one day. Because all those things are fault in the election. People, they go without ID. People send mail, nobody knows who signed the signature. Nobody knows who sent this email. Nobody, if the guy, it know, even they are voting in the name of dead people. Now His Majesty, remember that. Where you are, where, when you were a president. Remember those things he is saying now. When he become president, none of them will happen. Just wait. All of those things he promised you, because he cannot, not because he don't want it. Even if he want it, he cannot do it. You know, <laughs> and people shout and they are happy and you know, like, hey, <laughs> victory. But this is just a speech. You cannot do it. Because simply, nobody will agree with it. Your Congress would not agree with it because most of those congressmen and women, they won by cheating. So how they will sign with you? France just had an election. 36 million people voted. It was all done by 10 o'clock in the evening. No complaints. You had a winner. You had a loser. The loser went home. Uh, the winner is a friend of mine. Nice guy. But he was happy. But there was no complaints. And if there is a complaint, you check it out, and you can fix it very easily. You can find out what's going on. No. Paper ballots, same-day voting, voter ID. So simple. And, and we want all votes counted by election night. Can you believe it that California, who is the country, the, the state of technology, and then now they are not able to count the vote. There is counties, they have one machines and the machines are broken. <laughs> and the machine is made in China. <laughs> Can you believe it that the software, the American they were using, it was made in China and the owner of the company is a Chinese and he was arrested just a few weeks ago? This is America, my friend. They say to you, 
that the Chinese, the communists, etc., the blah blah, and then their machines are Chinese, the software they use is Chinese, the company who run the election are Chinese, and the clothes they are wearing is made in China, and uh, Trump, who keeps saying make America great again, we found that the hat he is selling is made in China. The hat of Trump itself, who he said it like you support him, he sends you a hat, the red hat, it's made in China. But yet they want to make America great again. Here we say things many people will not like, Democrat or Republican. But I say things as it is. I don't care who get upset, who get happy. So those things they say and the crowd gets so excited, etc. But when they are in the office, they forget about it and they sleep over it. How many times this guy, he promised he was going to go after Clinton and he will lock her up. Lock her up, lock her up, the crowd shouting. And he promised he will lock her up because she did a lot of a bribe. Did he do even one investigation? He did not. And not only that, this guy, he hired always people who did not even listen to him. As an example, the minister of justice, his own ministers. His own team is against him. He was not able to hire one person as trustworthy. Even the vice president who he chose, he betrayed him. So, I don't go excited by what people say. As the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So I trust no Republican, I trust no Democrat, I trust my Lord, and I believe that the Lord, he wanted something good for us. You see now, with the result we have, Democrat, they, are, they can go nowhere. It's like you put a chain in their foot. They can go and walk again with their agenda as they used to do before. And in two years from now, I assure you, the economy will collapse, will be really horrible. Because they did not change anything. You see, they, they, they raised the interest, but the interest cannot fix anything. The interest will make it even more horrible. Because that can cause a collapse for the housing market. And if the housing market collapse, the rest will follow. Nobody is buying houses. Because somebody, nobody can afford it. And even the one who can afford it, he said to himself, you know what? As long as the houses are going to collapse, why want to buy now? Just wait. And that will make it even go faster. So in two years from now, the Democrat, they will find themselves in a very deep hole. We do not need a Trump to make them go where they deserve to go. The economy will take them down. And then they can add in the ballot as much cheat they want. Still, if they won again, the economy will collapse and then millions of people will go in the street. They will impeach the president. So I believe that they are losers, losers anyway. Because they did not change their politics. They did not change their idea how to run a country. They are just being uh, stupid about like how to fight uh, petroleum companies. We don't want uh, to use oil. Uh, we want to stop the global warming. They have just dreams and theories, but in reality, the story is different. All of them, they have driving four-wheel drives, fancy cars. They have their own private jets, and then they school you about how to turn off your stove before you are done cooking, so you can save some energy. All of this is just to fool the fool from both sides. Those who they are crazy about going green. And the funny is, I saw some weird liberals, Democrat, they are splitting the, 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 the milk in the street or in the stores. Why? Because cows, cows is causing global warming. Shall we, call cow, shall, shall we kill cows? And then they say that we should not even abuse cows. So what we would do with the cows? Like we cannot kill them, but we cannot milk them. 
You know, when somebody say to me he's liberal, I think of him as like somebody, he took too much drugs, he see banana as a tree, and he see a bird as a lion. They are living in different fantasy, different world. They want to fight fuel, but they have conception of the fuel as nobody else. Every one of them have his own car. How many people use buses in US? Ain't nobody. <laughs> you know, I mean, this is a great. How many, how many of those who call themselves Democrat, they don't want to use cars? How many cars they have in their houses? What is the car of Nancy Pelosi? What is the cars of Joe Biden? Not to mention Hunter, because he's hunting in China. Took a look at Germany. We are 10 years ahead of America with none with this nonsense. I don't know what you mean, my friend. As I know that Germany now, they are desperate for, for energy because they start shutting down their nuclear energy and now they are kissing the ass of the Russian. So the German, they were not smart. They were acting so stupid. Most of European Union, they start shutting down their self-sufficient energy, which is nuke. And then they start buying gas and oil from Russia. So what you did? Nothing. Did you stop taking it? Did you stop using it? No. You are now more dependent. And not only that, you are risking your own homeland security in the hand of somebody else. So now Putin, if you want, he can make you freeze to death. So what you did? Take a look at Germany. We are 10 years ahead of America with this nonsense. I don't know what they mean. Are you saying there's nonsense or not? What I'm saying is nonsense. I'm not sure. Did Germany now have a better life without their nuke facility? You are kissing you are kissing the shoes of Putin. Literally. Why you do that? He agree with me? Okay, maybe I get him wrong. So you know, America, we have a lot of oil. I mean, what the point? If you are going to buy oil anyway, why you want to buy oil from your enemies? Three months after the sanctions against Russia, we were buying oil from Russia. Can you believe it? We have shipment came to USA three months after the sanctions against Putin. Why in the world USA is buying oil from Russia when we have oil in our backyard? what your ideal president would be to be like, you know, I would like to have a dictator because this country can be better if we have a dictator sometime, but maybe for a few years only, you know, if we can bring a dictator, he's a smart, but maybe for like five, six years, because this country is like a, is like a whore and the whore have, she's decided to split her legs and now she decided to walk, but you cannot walk and you have two legs, one in the East and one in the West. And the one is between is just looking at your panty. And this is what happened now. All the enemies of USA, they are between the legs of USA, the hyenas, you know, those puppies, Erdogan, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, the, the, the ruler of Emirat. The ruler of Emirat, he owns Sky News. If you watch their TV, they always mocking Trump. When Trump was in the office, they were kissing his ass. Erdogan, he was the best friend for Trump. A week after he is out of the White House, he sent the letter to Biden, says, finally, we are out of the culture of the KKK, the white supremacist. Go check it out. But when he was in the office, they were kissing his ass.
somebody saying buy it cheap from Russia and selling it somewhere else. But my friend, how cheap is going to be? It's not going to be cheaper than here because this is in the ground. We are not going to pay for shipping and handling, etc. It's in our land. And not only that, the American oil is way better quality than the Saudi or Venezuela oil. So you agree with the Trump or not? He was doing a great job when it's come to the economy. Nobody can deny that. And now Biden, he posted a video saying that when Trump, he was in the office jobs, there was no jobs, but a liar. He says the economy was down, but a liar. I mean, their lies is bigger than Muhammad and his Quran. And not only that, I, I am, I'm afraid now that those Republican, because if a Trump is going to run for election, they will start biting each other. <laughs> you know what I mean? So instead of making the party stronger, it might even make the party weaker because they will be divided. And now there is big names. They are fighting to be the president and they don't want him to be there. So he might even divide the party. Just watch out. We will see what will happen. However, I trust the stupidity of the Democrat more, more trusting the intelligence of the Republican. And I will tell you what I mean. I believe because Democrats are born to be stupid, they will do the deadly mistake where everybody will spit them out. In two years from now, economy is going to be down, down, down the floor, not in the basement, maybe 70 foot, as Muhammad said, in the grave. And then the punishment of the grave will come. And two angels will ask Biden, what is the price of the dollar today? What is the interest in the bank? Why the housing market crash? And why there's no jobs and there's no food in the shelves? And then you vote for who it doesn't matter because simply people will spit you out. Right now, still they are trying you know, to make themselves look fine. But if you go in the market, go in the shelves, go see the prices. Prices are so crazy, so scary. And this is why I cannot believe that they did good in this election. It's it's impossible. It's impossible because even Democrat, you see, like this guy with his name in uh, in Florida, he won in Florida even the most conservative Democratic Party territories. Why he won? Well, people they see the prices, and in Florida they could not cheat because people they have to vote by ID, and even the one who vote by vote by mail they have to check exactly if this is the person. They have a very good system. So they could not check. They could not cheat. But in other places, nobody knows where those bad is coming from. Nobody even knows who is printing them. Even the machines are not working in areas the majority are Republican. Machines perfectly work in areas they are Democrat. So we will see what will happen. But I am, you know, me, myself, I'm satisfied with this election for many reasons. Number one, Republican, they start talking about stopping supporting Ukraine if they won the election. And this is the last thing I want. This is the last thing I want. Number two, senators. <clears throat> when the stupid Trump, he decided to support somebody from Turkey to be a senator in Pennsylvania, that made me very worried. Erdogan, he will have his man in the senators. This guy is a Turkish at the end of the day. Maybe he is not a Muslim, you know, he's a Muslim by name, but I discovered that he is a very close friend to Erdogan. So if he become, and he was able to succeed in Pennsylvania, he was going to be the first Muslim senator and the first Turkish Erdogan friend in the Senate. That is a very horrible news. So Trump is a stupid in every way, every mean when it's come to choosing who is going to run for election. Why in the world you choose someone is a Turkish? He's a friend to Erdogan. He spent every summer in Turkey. Every summer in Turkey. Why you do that? And then 
Don't you know there's a lot of Armenian they will vote against you against you? Don't you know a lot of a Greek people they will vote against you? Don't you know that Turkey have a very bad reputation and people are scared of their having them in the Senate? Trump he made a very stupid decision. In the same hand, same side, they they say that Trump is against Islam and against Muslim. But what he do? He choose a Muslim to be in the Senate. And he is the one who sponsored him. Big mistake. Republican, they will not favor such a person. If I am living in Pennsylvania, I will never vote for Muhammad Oz. Muhammad, by the way, the name Muhammad is just the version or the, the Turkish version of Muhammad. So in my heart, I was saying, oh, no. You see, I want them to win the Senate, but I don't want a Turkish person in case we have a war with they have like Erdogan, Erdogan just a few weeks ago. He was threatening that the, the, the Greek people, he will be in their land overnight. So if they have their own senators, he will vote against any action against Turkey. So in my heart, I was saying, I hope he will not win, even if we are going to lose the Senate. Stupid Trump. Uh, inflation is caused by curtailing the supply side. No, inflation happened by a very simple thing. It's about gas. The price gas up, go up, scary. Not only just up, go three times more. And then that will affect everything because everything needs to be processed by oil. Even your tomato needs to be processed by oil because the farmers, they use oil to run their machines. Everything you have, you need energy. So when the price of oil go up, electricity go up, tractors, Cause go up, machines price go up because in order to make a machine, you need to use energy too. Drugs go up, everything will go up. Transportation, shipping will goes up because now it's costing them three time to pay for the same trip. If you go right now and check the price of a ticket, last time I went to South Asia, two, three, four years ago, I forgot when. I paid eight hundred dollars, seven hundred fifty, including the insurance. It was like eight hundred. Right now is two thousand seven hundred. Same airplane, same airline, same direction. Two thousand five hundred, six hundred. Like the cheapest, maybe we will find five hundred plus tax. You will end with something good. So the price of gas affect everything. And this is the stupid decision made by the Democrat. They decide to stop our production here. They don't want to more, do more digging. And in the same time, they start kissing the asses of the Saudi and the Venezuela. Imagine Venezuela became important now. Imagine Biden, he sent his team to Venezuela to discuss and to beg them to send more oil. What happened? Imagine Biden, who he said that this guy, the crown prince, is a terrorist and the blood of Khachokji in his hands. What he do? He go there and he kiss his ass to increase the production. Actually, this is alone can cause him to be impeached because he's asking a foreign government to be involved in the election. He asked him to increase the production until the election is over. So the price of gas and oil will go down. And now the winter is coming. And those who live in Chicago and those cold areas, they will notice how fun it is to have Biden because the gas price and the oil and the heating bill will go scary. Just wait until you get your heat bill of like $600. That will be fun. You would love Biden, and you will be so proud that you are voting Democrat. 
So the coming two years is going to be the hell. The hell itself. This is why I'm not really worried about the future of uh, what the Democrats they will accomplish because they are not going to accomplish anything except the bankruptcy of American citizen. And that will make them go out of business. Just wait for the coming two years. Who want to bet in two years what will happen? Do you think in two years from now the price of gas will be way cheaper or way more expensive? You know the answer. It's going to be way more expensive. We are Democrat. As long as we are buying gas from others, as long as there is short of supply, as long as there is gang controlling the the gas price, you know, there's a, they have a gang. They have a team. They meet together. They say, we are going to cut the production so they can increase the price. It's not a free market no more. It's a gang. And the stupid Democrat, they are making the gang rich. And they are making the American poor. So you like Trump, you don't like Trump, who cares? At the end of the day, do you like paying more in the gas station for the same gas you used to use two years ago? If you like it, that means you are stupid. Do you like to pay three, four times for the same milk you drink? Do you like that your interest for a mortgage became three, four times more than the time of Trump? Do you? If you do, that means you are stupid, literally. <laughs> as simple as that. And not only that, you know, somebody talking about farmers. You know, those farmers who cannot make living because the price is going so crazy and they are putting more... You see, the, 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 the funny thing about those Democrats, the, the, if you go to California, as an example, they have coding for everything. If you want to build a bathroom, there's a 700 pages coding for a bathroom. Like, you can finish a PhD before you finish the code. Welcome to California. If somebody want to scratch his ass, they have coding for it. If you go right now to buy anything from Amazon, you will find at the end, it says, if you live in the state of California, <laughs> take notes, disclaimer. <laughs> and you might be surprised that the state of California, they banned this material in the state. Do you know that if you are traveling between Arizona and California and you have an orange with you, the police will not allow it? You are smuggling orange and orange. You are not allowed to have it. But the heck with those people. This is why California became like, you know, the, the most stupid state ever. Who is going to live in this state? And this is why this year we notice in California, there's way and way more voting for Republican. You see, if we go right now to the House, let us go back here. Look at this. This is California. Do you notice something strange here? This is California. The majority in California, they are voting for Republican in the Congress. Do you see it? Look at this. And I'm talking about, when I say the majority, I'm not talking about population, I'm talking about the space. Maybe more than 70% of the location is red. Like the pink and the red is red. The blue is the blue, is the Democrat. So there is an area where the pop big population, they are centered like San Francisco, LA, etc. But if you look at the massive size of California, people are voting more and more Republican. Why? Because people are sick of this garbage.
If you look at the whole map, actually, you will see American, they are voting Republican. Look at the map. The map is red. The map is red. Do you see the map? It is red. And even those who they are, you know, actually, this year we have Republican wait, you know, winning in New York. Look at New York. People, look at New York. This is New York. Look, look. This is New York. This is the center of the Democrat. Look, do you see the red in New York? Do you see how big, massive the red area? In the state of New York. And why they are going to vote Republican? Because people, they vote for what is right for them. Food, money, salary, gas, jobs, freedom, and Democrat, they are the biggest losers when it's come to this. This is the truth. And the, and the reason I don't believe this election was 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 a correct election, because how in the world we won many House representatives in New York. And yet in the Senate, we are doing bad or governor doesn't make sense. Why somebody want to vote for Republican Congress? Yet he vote for Democrat senator. You know what I mean? Like, look at Arizona. How in the world in Arizona, the majority of the people are voting for Republican Congress, but they did not vote for Republican senators, that, do that make sense to you? What I know about voting, when you vote for Republican Congress, you vote for Republican senators too. You know, you know, guys, what I'm saying? If I am a Democrat, I'm not going to vote for Republicans Congress and Democrat Senate. It doesn't make sense. I will vote for both to be because I'm voting for the, the direction of the party, not for a person. The, the guys, do you understand what I'm saying? Imagine I vote against Muhammad as a prophet, and then I vote for a Muslim who want to practice Sharia law. It doesn't make sense. So how Arizona, all of it, almost 90% voted Republican, and then the senators became Democrat. That's, that is the most weird, stupid thing ever. So what they do, they cheat in the mail they send. We do not know who's voting. We do not know who are they. We do not know if they are even exist. But just little thinking, you will notice that this can't be true. This can't be true. And not only that, look at the total. You see the massive size is, is, uh, is, is red, and then the Republican Party says six to three. So six to three, that's mean twice more Republican than Democrat, how they won the Senate, and how they won the governor. Here it says six to three, I don't know, in this website. <laughs> so it is very fishy, you know. However, I'm very, you know, for me, uh, it's enough that they control the house for now. So Biden will not 
do too much poo poo as he wish because if they control again for the coming two years the house and the senate things will go wrong and not to forget to mention that i think there is uh, uh, one or two independent senators so that will broke will, will break them really a pieces things is not going to go right for those democrat the honeymoon let us say the honeymoon of uh, democrat is over and the last two years was hell for them because of what they did gas prices etc and the coming two years is going to be way way more ugly but i pray and i hope that republican will not do stupid things because they have a lot of stupid people they are in the office and they will start fighting each other dividing each other you know we know all of us that trump uh, even though i voted for him he's an idiot he says stupid things and he don't watch his mouth and he can easily divide the Republican. So I hope we will not fail into such a trap. You know, this guy, he don't keep his mouth shut. He talked too much. I mean, even Elon Musk is against him suddenly. Why? There is a lady, she is an African-American. I forgot his name. I think her name is Rice something. Condoleezza Rice. I, I forgot the name, really. Uh... She's always support him and he spoke against her. This guy, if you don't watch his mouth, he is going nowhere. And he is going to, I'm afraid, he is going to divide the party. So in the coming election, nobody win. So I hope he will learn how not to be stupid again and how to keep his mouth shut when it should be shut how to make more friends to support him, not more enemies. I hope so. And this is my idea about what's happening in the politics in USA today. You don't have to agree with me. For us as a Christians, you know, we don't vote for a person. We vote for what is the target is. I don't care who is going to be the president. I care for that people have a freedom of speech, that people they have they are not going to be censored. I don't want Democratic Party, call themselves Democrat, but then if you speak against them, they fabricate a case and take you to the court. I want justice for all American citizens and even around the world. I don't want a stupid government. They go and shake hands with the enemies of USA, the same as Trump he did and the same as Biden he do. Both of them, they do stupid things when it's come to abroad politics. But in the case of a Trump, at least he was very good in economy inside his country. Uh, the you know the bad things about USA that to be in the office you do not need to be a qualified person. You need to be a TV anchor. Somebody sponsor you. Somebody put your name in TV and make you look like a hero. Even if you never been in a war zone ever before even if you get scared and hide under the table if you hear, if you hear the, uh, the, the one shot so uh, uh, it's not really who deserve to be in the in the office is in the office it is the mafia who sponsor you the rich ones who spend money on you and when they spend money on you they want return you will notice that all those who they are stuck either in the Congress or senators. They are stuck there for a reason. Nobody, nobody trust me. I mean, you know, like uh, th there's jobs in the government. They are ugly jobs, like police. Policeman is an ugly job. Uh, doesn't matter how much they pay them. It is the most ugly job ever because people hate you. And in the same time, they need you. In the same time, you get killed. You can get killed any second. And if you kill somebody, they accuse you. So you are the criminal before even you commit the crime. That is an ugly job. In politics, you are a hero. Even if you make the price of food go jump five times more. I mean, look, Biden is a hero, man. He fixed America. He's making America wonderful. This is what the CNN is saying to us. Price of gas go crazy. Price of food go crazy. Shooting everywhere. You know, in, 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 in democratic states, if you steal less than $800, you don't go to jail. If you punish somebody in his face, break his teeth, 
They don't even hold you in jail. Imagine in democratic state, even if you murder, murder, and there is witnesses, you can pay money and get out of jail until the day of the court. Can you believe it? In such election we have, someone like this guy, Fatter Man, he cannot even say his name correctly, he won election. Who in the world would believe such a thing? I mean, you, you tell me how that can happen. Even though I don't like the Turkish guy to win, but it, does, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it totally doesn't make sense. <laughs> Anyway, <clears throat> you know, if, if you ask me, I think it's better for someone like the governor of Florida to run for presidency because that guy will make all the Hispanic and Latino vote for him. He's smart. He know what to say and what not to say. And he do always the right thing. Trump is a big bear. He's just a big bear. He says stupid things. He does stupid things. And he proved it always. And he was able to make everybody hate him. And that is his weakness. Uh, we, I was uh, growing up, the police was respected. Well, I'm not saying I don't respect the police. I'm saying in, the, in such, a, such an atmosphere, you have those democratic parties, they demonize the police. The police is evil for them. So if you speak to somebody, he grew up in a state of like where the majority are demo Democrat. The second you say police, police are criminals. They are not the good ones, you know. And if you shoot somebody, you will be in trouble, even though you have to defend yourself. So this is why I'm saying to be police, especially in democratic state, is the worst job ever. If I'm if I'm I'm a policeman, I will never stay for a day in any democratic state. Actually, I wonder how in the world a policeman he work in any democratic state. Because anything can happen. They will accuse you. So yesterday you were the policeman, second day you are the criminal. You know when when the what, what his name? George Floyd. In the street, and the and the guys are not white. There is Asian. There is black. The head of the police is black. The mayor of the city is black. The 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 general attorney, the attorney of the state is black. I mean, everybody is black, and yet they accuse him to be a racist, and they make it a racist crime. It's not like uh, an uh, uh, like uh, an abuse of force. I mean, we know that they don't want to kill him. Everybody know that. But look what happened to those police. They demonize them. They make them the devil. And who dare to defend them? Who is even the lawyer he will go to defend them? Even though we know that they are doing their job. The guy he resists. You can say they use uh, extra uh, you know, uh, force. They should not. But there is no way they want to kill him. And there's no way you can say they are racist. There is Hispanic, there is a, a Asian, there is a black. And how those are racist too? Their boss is a black. The mayor of the city is a black. The head of the police is a black. So how do how that can be racism? But they use it to win the election. And suddenly the guy who was nobody cared for him in his funeral, he have a coffin covered by gold. Did you did you did you see it? They made for him coffin covered by gold. When the guy he died for the sake of twenty dollars. So when he was alive, nobody cared for him. But now, because for the politics agenda, suddenly his picture everywhere, and you know it's it just a fake, 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 fake party, the Democratic Party. If you care for the dead one who die because he commit a crime, what about you care for the living black people? What Obama he did to the black people when he was a president for eight years? Nothing. 
where Obama he live right now? Did he live between the black poor people or he bought a mansion between the white redhead people? Go check where he live. In fact, Trump, he is the only one who care for the poor African American. He made a special investment, special tax cut. If you invest your company, your money, your business, if you open your business in those poor areas, you are tax free. Go check it out. So they use they used a, a, a black person death for their agenda, and they claim that they are the one who defend the black people. But in reality, Democratic Party and everybody knows they are the one who who, who fought for slavery, and Republican is the one who fought against slavery. This is history. This is nobody can play with it. Go right now, check who is the party was fighting to free the black people from slavery. It was Republican. Who is the party was fighting to keep them a slave? It was the Democrat. And now the Democrat, because they are like snake, they change their skin. The snake changes their skin every day. So from a party going against black people, discriminating them, they want to keep them as slaves to party claim that they are defending the black. This is why if you are a black, you are Hispanic, you should not let them use you. They just use you. They don't care for you. If you go right now and check what Biden he did to the black community, here we go, you have a Democratic Party. What happened? What change happened to you? Is your life better? Just question. Did he make anything different, something new for black people? Are you more happy now? Just ask the question. A very simple question. If he really he did something different, let me know. It was only Trump. Actually, black community like colleges, they used to go to the White House every year to beg the president to give them assistance. Trump is the only one he said to them, from now on, you don't need to come here. It's going to be automatic renew. Automatically. For the last 40, 50 years, every year, those, you know, those college community who have a, in, a, in, a, in a poor area where black people live, they have to go to the president and ask for assistance. They have to beg him, literally, please, Mr. President, can you help us? Trump is the one who said to them, why are you are doing this? This should be your right to be assist. Should not be big for it. Every year now is going to be automatic for you. You do not need to come here again, ask for it. So they demonized this guy. They made him the devil who hate black people, who hate, uh, uh, like he banned Muslims since when? You see, you remember when they say, start saying uh, uh, Trump, he banned Muslims? Why? Because he banned countries, they cannot travel. But this is the same order Obama, he signed before him. Trump, he just renew it. So when Obama, he signed it first, it's Obama who come with this, that this country and this country and this country, they are not allowed to come to USA because of terrorism. And then Trump, he signed the same list, which is made by Obama, not by him. What they call him? He banned Muslims. Do you remember? When the truth is, the sign, the list he signed, it was made by Obama. Do you remember the cage? Guys, do you, who remember the cage? Trump, he is putting children in cage in the borders. Do, do you remember? Trump putting children in cage in, in the borders. And later we find out that the one who made those cages was Obama. <laughs> Those are not made by. Those are not made by him. Those cages. Look, 
This is the BBC, the evil BBC, who always attack, you know, attack us and attack Republican, attack Christians. The BBC, the station of the devil owned by, 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 by Saudi Arabia. Trump immigrant separation policy, children in cage. Do you see it? But the fact, this is not his cage. This is Obama cage. And what case you are talking about? They cannot let them go free. They are crossing the border. They are illegal there. What do they want to do? And who is the one who come with this? It was Obama. Who is the one who was accused? Trump. And then many dummy, they believe it. Look, it says Trump. You know, no honesty, no dignity, zero ethic, and nobody want to hear the truth. Do you think really that CNN, they do not know that the one who put this cage is Obama? Why it took them, why it took the, the you know, like the people like a, uh, uh, two years after the accusation to know that the one who put it is Obama. Shameful people, you know, they demonize anyone. You know, do you remember the Muslim when they made a video that says a Christian prince sexual predator? Why? Because he said to a Muslim woman, suckle me. I was quoting his prophet. This is what the Democrat is about. They cannot beat you in a debate. They cannot beat you with facts. They try to smear you. Candace, Candace, Candace Owens. Okay, I don't know. I'm saying the name wrong. Yeah, but I heard that he that just two days ago he like he said something negative about her. This is what I'm saying. Trump is not a good person in, you know, in politics. He is stupid when it's come to that. He doesn't know how to make friends. He knows how to make enemies. You know? And this is his weakness. He doesn't know how to get rid really, uh, uh, supporters. He is so good to make people run away. Anyway. But, you know, for me, this election was kind of uh, uh, funny and laughable. And uh, and when you see those dummies like uh, the Saudi and the Emirati and Bahrain, you know, how they were kissing the ass of Trump when he was a president and how now they are washing their hands from him. And, you know, and look what happened. A week ago, a week ago, Emirat TV station was, they changed their accent. What I'm saying, they changed the way they speak again about Trump. As soon the news came that the Republican they did not make the big majority, they back to hit on him. You see, the hyena, the puppies. That's why I called them puppies. I called them puppies for a reason. They have no dignity. They have no friends. They will bite you. Never trust those people. Never ever. If Trump, he become a president tomorrow, all those Muslim countries, they will start kissing his ass again as when he was a president. Remember, 65 king and president, they came to Saudi Arabia and he was schooling them. Festival. Kings. They put him in front of him as if they are like a bunch of kids and he was schooling them. When Biden, he went to Saudi Arabia, nobody was waiting for him. Literally nobody. Trump, he went there. They want to build a mosque. It's called Ivanka Mosque. 
parties, kings coming from everywhere, gold and silver, red carpet, the whole Saudi army waiting, the king, the crown prince, the whole family. When Biden went there, nobody was in the airport. The same what happened to Obama. Why? Those people, they fear, they don't respect. If they fear you, they kiss your ass. If they don't, they spit at you. Trump, he shows strength against Iran. He shows strength in everything he do. Almost. Biden is a guy I don't remember his name. His own people making joke about him. He keeps saying, I am Joe Biden's husband. If I search right now to Joe Biden going to Saudi Arabia, give me a second, just to show you the difference. And remember, he is the one who said that the crown prince is a criminal and I will never visit Saudi Arabia as long as he is a crown prince. Not only he went there and nobody was waiting for him in the airport, the crown prince who is nobody, he he you know he welcome him in the front door. Look 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 who welcome Biden. Hmm. Guys, look at this. This is the president of USA. Who is waiting for him in the airport? The governor of Mecca. Not the king. Not the crown prince. And when he arrive how they welcome him look at this he did not even shake hand with him but there's no corona at that time i mean this is just two months ago what is this he did not even smile in his face he does go and shake in trump how it was oh boy the king himself the king who cannot walk the crown prince is walking behind like a puppy. Shaking hands. Putting the medal of honor. The king himself is bowing down in front of Trump. What happened? Everybody want to talk to Ivanka Trump. Look, look at the Saudi royal family. Look, Ivanka Trump in the middle. And everybody said to himself, man, why my wife? She don't look like this. Man, oh man, what the heck is this? And then everybody became the consultant to Ivanka Trump. Look. The Saudi royal family, all of them in her service. <laughs> and then a party and dancing the king is holding the hand of uh, trump and, and dancing with him i mean what the heck is that how this is the same as this And when he, you know, it's, I, when I look at those things they gave to Trump, I said, what is that to take with him to the kitchen? Is that like, a, what the heck they gave him in the airport? What is this? This is flowers? Is that like something like leek or something to fry or something? You know? What the heck is that? Yeah, Trump, he don't wear a hijab. What hijab? This is his wife. Look what she's wearing. And by the way, the king of Saudi Arabia, he do not know how to write his name. I don't know if you ever saw him in TV speaking. He read, like they have in front of him, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, 
ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. And okay, you know, he don't know. If I if I play the video for you, you would die laughing. How he read? Yeah. Not only that, they brought 65 king and president to meet with him. They said they made them sit in the front of him like a bunch of kids. Go watch the video. Anyway. But you see, this is how life is funny. When you are a president, you know, Everybody bowed down to you. Trump is the superstar. The guy is gone. Now they start biting him in his back. Emirat TV, they make fun of Trump. Today, the Emirati TV, they said in Sky News that Ivanka Trump, they betray her father. Why? She said, I don't want to be involved in politics. How that is betraying her father? They start making a story. How Ivanka, she said she will not... Go for politics. Look, she don't want to go for politics. You have enough, you know. She betrayed her father. Even his daughter is not supporting him no more. <laughs> Look like Trump, he won the election because of his daughter. <laughs> you know, this is kind of news. Uh, Sky News is owned by Emirat, and they have in English, they have many languages, right? But this is the most great example how Arab countries are. Arab countries in English, they support Ukraine in the war. Arab countries in Arabic, they support Russia in war. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so now you know why I live in the Middle East. I never saw people who lie in their life and their life as much in the Middle East. I mean, those are the countries where ethic is zero, below zero. Like, you know, you might go in Alaska and you freeze because of the temperature. In the Middle East, you will be freezing from how big the lies is. No dignity. I remember once in the, uh, you know, in the Saudi TV, they were talking about uh, 50 cars they hit each other in the highway in Los Angeles because of the fog weather, brother. But nobody, thanks to Allah, was injured. In the same day, there was a bus full of students. I forgot how many, 60, 50, 70, I don't know. You know, the whole bus, the whole kid, the, the whole bus full of kids, all of them, they die, including the driver. Nobody spoke. It's not even in the news. But they are busy to talk about an accident happened in L.A., brother. But what happened in their own town, their children, they die in the same day. It's not in the news. That's why in Islamic countries, when you watch news, there's no news because it's an angel country. There's no crimes. There's no shooting. There's no rape. There's nothing. And their weather news is the most amazing news. I remember in Saudi Arabia, the news like this. You will see the weather guy saying, Inshallah, tomorrow. Inshallah. And only if Allah will. By Allah will. Inshallah. If Allah will, we will have a speed of wind 30 miles an hour. Inshallah, remember. Inshallah. And Inshallah, we will have, we might have rain if Allah will. So you have to say the word with Allah every two seconds otherwise they will kill him because they will claim that he he claimed that he knew the future so what are the news in saudi arabia like now is different from before like now they are getting better but before it was inshallah tomorrow if allah will only and only if allah will we are going to have rain only, only brother if allah will and if allah will we might have a sandstorm if and only if allah will he have to say it, otherwise before he leave the studio, he will be dead. You know, the first time a bicycle came to Saudi Arabia, do you know what happened? A guy, I don't know, he, he was studying where, Saudi. He came to Saudi Arabia and he brought with him a bicycle. They never saw such a thing before. 
And then they came to his house, the police, the Sharia court, the judge, and the, the judge, he ordered to arrest the bike for this is the bike of Shaitan. And they put the bike in the middle of the square. And then the judge, he ordered to behead the head of the bike. And then the guy, he came with the big sword and he started trying to behead the bike. And then his sword was broken because the bike, her head is hard to break. <laughs> And the judge of Jashri Allah, he ordered by Allah, we are going to behead the bike of the devil. And anyone he will bring such a thing to this country, this holy land, he will be punished. Takbir. I remember once there was a guy he made in his yard, uh, like, you know, those, uh, uh, like, you know, the containers for flowers, you know, for a container. So he made like in the shape of a duck. He's like, he, he's very good, in, he's a creative, but the creative in Saudi Arabia, no way, that's not that bad. So he made containers for flowers look like duck, you know, so like the, the back of them is empty, he put dirt and he put flowers. Somebody reported him that he have idols in his house. Look at this. He have, this is a true story, I'm not lying. This is... He have an idol, they reported him to the Sharia court, to the police, the Sharia police, that he have idols in his yard. The guy was home and suddenly like hundreds of people going, walking together, going to his house, they knock at his door, the police, the judge, and the Allahu Akbar, and they carry on the order of the court. Uh, we are going to inspect the yard of this man. Uh, please order your wife to cover themselves. We are going to check the house. You've been reported that you have idols. The guy was terrified, like, what the heck? You know, so he went inside the house. He ordered his wife to cover herself because they want to go inside. And they went inside and they checked and they found that he have ducks made of cement. And then the judge, he ordered that by the name of Allah to execute those idols. And then the guy, he hold, he's wearing a mask. He, you know, he, like, you know, those Arabian clothes, you know, you put it in your face. So he put the shimach in his face, and then he came with the sword, and he cut the first head, and the crowd shout, Allahu Akbar, takbir, Allahu Akbar. And then he cut the second the second duck head, Allahu Akbar. And then they arrested the guy. We don't know what happened to him. <laughs> this is Saudi Arabia. <laughs> and now, you know, people, they say like, Saudi Arabia advanced until now maybe more than 80% of population don't speak or don't don't know how to write how to read this is why those uh, they call themselves royal family There's, those are just a bunch of gang and they have nothing to do with royal uh, they are able to control the country you know the oil money uh, 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 you know a country people are not educated and if somebody educated he decides to open his mouth they make him disappear yeah <clears throat> But anyway, Alhamdulillah, there is no, but now, now listen, Saudi Arabia then is not the same as Saudi Arabia today. Right now in Saudi Arabia TV, not a single person, not a single woman, Wear hijab. You can go right now in Saudi Arabia and you see women, they are not wearing hijab at all. I don't want to play. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't want to play their TV stations for copyright, you know. But uh, uh, yeah, look like as an example, this is an interview about a Saudi female. This is Al Arabiya TV. Look what the Saudi female she is wearing. Do you see? So, like, you know, things is changing so, so, so fast. Now they don't really wear hijab. They are wearing short skirt. They are driving cars. Uh, but still, 
the country, the majority of it is a country of ignorant, you know, but everything changing big deal. It's not like the same as before. You know, having Halloween in Saudi Arabia, this is not a good thing anyway. I mean, this is not something to be proud about. Halloween is something for the pagan, and it's a stupid behavior for anyone to practice. You know, if the if the Saudi are practicing Halloween, that's not doesn't mean they are doing uh, they are getting better. That's mean they are getting worse. Halloween is a pure pagan practice. You know. This is stupid, people walking naked, wearing stupid stuff. Disgusting. You know, for me, Halloween is disgusting. I don't go out, actually, when there's a Halloween. It's hollow brain. It is hollow brain, not Halloween. Hollow brain occasion. For me, I believe only people who have a vacuum in their brain, they, you know, especially like old men, they are wearing bikini or, you know, unbelievable. You know? Halloween. There we go. I will make you happy because you mentioned Halloween to, to make you feel better. <laughs> uh. Uh. Hello, brain. Yeah, I mean, you see what people wear in this occasion. I mean, this is weird, man. Did you see 100, 100 something, 160, I think, in Korea, they died because of the stupid Halloween? Can you believe it? This is how stupid a human being is. I think like 160 people died. 160 people. Young, young. For what? I mean, what What the heck is that? You know? Look, look at this. You know what I mean? This is what a human being is. A human being is so stupid, so silly. What for? Actually, I advise that if you know there's a place is going to be overcrowded. Never ever go there. Never go there. Never go to a stadium. You might get killed there. They might step on you. When the crowd go out of control, it's the same as a cows, you know, a bunch of cows running. And this is exactly what happened. And look what people are wearing. What is this? Like what we are expressing exactly. Ah, this is something I like to see. Biden, the White House. Biden delivers remarks and takes question. <laughs> You know, the nice thing about Biden, he take questions, but he never give answers, you know? <laughs> Any, anyone want to give me a question? Okay, I took it. Okay, I will take it with me. All right, take care. <laughs> I like this title. Biden, he take questions. 